Wait, yo, walking far away. Hey, yo, wait, yo, walking far away. We're gonna get to understand Nubia, the culture, the people, the history, everything Nubia. Nubia is a history that not all of us know and I want to show it to you guys in this video. Just getting an understanding of the culture and the people and understanding the history of it and even the places to see. Welcome to the very first of the Africa Travel Show. Egypt. Welcome, beautiful people. Yes, you can make us oh. on a journey walking this street. We got rocked up. I'm from Egypt. Ancient history, you guys. Anyone in the world? Very special. Come here in Egypt. Marhaba. Aye. Face it every place. You can make what you want. What do you want? On the journey, we're still going. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to Egypt. Woo! <laughs> Anybody that tells you about Aswan will tell you that. So it's a very good spirit here. Calm. The sun is always out. Good people everywhere. It's a good life. People live good here. They eat good. They work. Travelers from all over the world is here in Aswan, Egypt. In your own words, what does it mean to be Nubian? Nubian, uh, for me, it's something like uh, really nice history, nice culture, nice people, friendly people. Almost they are very hospitality. They are happy here in Aswan with us, with the real Nubian people. They just feel peace and enjoy. Yep. So, most of them, they have a nice, nice experience about the world. Yep. Welcome everybody to visit Nubian Elephantine Island. When I came to Egypt, I had no plan in coming to Aswan. But everybody that I met in Cairo was telling me, go to Aswan. Go meet the Nubians and the Egyptians, they have big love for the Nubian people. And they always said, it's good spirit here, the people are very nice. So, and I got to see this firsthand, and this is actually what he's saying. It's very valid. Amazing, Mustafa. Amen. Amen. What is this place called, this area? Barbar. Barbar. Yes. So Barbar Park. And this beach is really popular in summertime. Now you can see the people. I mean, they come and they also drive the mile. Yeah. So as you guys can see already, there is other travelers. Salam. Salam. Alhamdulillah. Ah, So it's a popular place. As you guys can see, there's travelers here at this location. It has a park located at the very south. You guys are getting lit. What's going on? What's your name? Joachim. Huh? Joachim. 
Jojo. Jojo the Traveler. Jojo the Traveler. This is the most popular beach in the Nubian village. Habib. <laughs> salam, salam. My brother. Yes, sir. Yes. Welcome well, to Nubia, my welcome brother. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome Ambesa. Rabina Kaliga. Allah. This is beautiful. Huh? Is it daggers? Let's check it out. These are the daggers? Yes. This is, so what is this Nubian style daggers? Yes. Look. Yeah. All style, have all style. But we have something like this. Wow. What is it made with? Camel bone. Camel bone? Yeah. This camel bone. This natural lizard. Yeah. 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 Wow. This, this is a Nubian style. Everything yeah. is here from ancient Nubia. Yes. What is this? This corn. This is metal. This is metal, but no problem for travel, not wow. sharp. Wow. If you want to make it sharp, it's yeah. up to you. Wow, this amazing. Not, yeah. Look at that. Amazing. Just look at this style. The intricates. No problem for you guys. Barbara Beach. It is one of the most popular places to go to. The tourists they swimming in this beach, like what you see here. Yeah. And from here they take the camel all long way to the Nubian village. That's where the level is right there yeah. that you guys see. Where well, you see the, the white colorings, that's how high the water is on a regular on a regular level. So the water is increasing a little bit in the Nile. So the Nubian traditional colors. So Nubia is an African tribe from the connection of the whole Kushites. Yes. Uh, Nubia is the south of Egypt. Yeah. and the north of Sudan but there's many Nubian villages within the African corners of these places that we talked about such as Uganda such as Ethiopia such as Tanzania such as Kenya there are small Nubian villages there but we come for we come from there you come from there it's we all come one from big there. We yes follow Habi, yes the Nile. and the Nile amazing. is called Habi. we come from these communities Exactly. Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, Masaya. Mm -hmm. It's ours, you know. Mm -hmm. And other three tribes here, yeah, they move it from there. And they dwell there. And they multicultural it with the Arabs and Jewish. Yes. Since, Which... since Abraham yes. come dwell here, mm -hmm. come here to Egypt, mm -hmm. or we call it Kemet, mm -hmm. and married Hajar. Hajar get Ismail and they went to Mecca, and they built Mecca. Mm -hmm. And Ismail became the father of the Arab race, and he's the first one who riding the horse. Mm -hmm. And his mother African, mm -hmm. Nubian, mm -hmm. Kushitic. Even Moses, mm -hmm. because uh, Moses described it by the Prophet Muhammad also, he said he looks like African, the up guy and his hair like Africans you, know? mm -hmm. you guys ancient history is still here today truth history that has been untouched is still here but you have to come to these lands to experience and learn it for yourself you know the history that we learn in many different countries will never be like the history you learn about the history in the same country all right guys so we're just getting to the first Nubian village we're gonna see in depth of Nubia and I'm gonna have Mustafa tell us exactly what the name of this Nubian village is called. It's called the Garb Sehel Nubian village. Garb Sehel. Garb Sehel. Garb Sehel. I mean west of Sehel. West of Sehel. This is very large. It's my first time stepping into this Nubian village. Salam Habib. Beautiful. Look at this beautiful place. I'm 
so we just got to Gasela. This is beautiful. Welcome. Moses also is get buried here as the Pharaoh house. We are Pharaohs here. Pharaohs, all of them, they are black. Look at the figure. Look at the nose and his lips. And they black of shimmering. Mm -hmm. They are black. Imagine about this climate. I live in this climate. How I become dusky color? According to my climate. Yes. How Germans and British become white? Because frozen cold. They become white, you know, and thin nose. I have white nose to get more oxygen mm -hmm. in extremely hot climate. Mm -hmm. In summer, it's increased here to 50 degrees. Thin nose cannot collect the oxygen. So you're telling me at the end of it, the ancient Egyptians of the old were of darker skin tone. Yes, they were dark skin. Yeah. So you guys will see, as soon as you guys step in, you guys will see a lot of stuff. This is amazing, you guys. And it's no, it's okay. How old is this style? From time? For long time. For all. Wow. <laughs> the first of the world is like this. Yes. Uh, factor like this. Yeah. Uh, after this, factor look how can make factor like this. Make it this time. Like first. Yeah. Fantastic. And then at the end of it all. Uh, wow. So you just completed a whole. And this is a sheet, bed sheet, or a scarf. A scarf. A scarf. 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 It's 100% Egyptian cotton. 100% Egyptian, Egyptian cotton. cotton. Amazing. Yeah, there's much more all through these walls. Fascinating. Very amazing. Beautiful. Egyptian threads. Egyptian design in the Nubian villages of Aswan, Egypt. Welcome to Egypt. Welcome to Egypt. Welcome to Egypt. Welcome to Egypt. <laughs> Welcome to Nubia. Welcome to the south of Egypt, of Aswan, Egypt, where the beautiful Nubians live. There you go, my Nubia. Nubia. Have you? You're in a colleague, okay? Alhamdulillah. From where? Booty. Canadian tire. Canadian Canada dry. No, tire. I get it. The same thing I was saying to you guys earlier was that you guys have spices. What is this, Abib? I know. Hibiscus tea. Hibiscus tea? Flower. Wow. So, you guys, hibiscus flowers here, dried up to make beautiful teas. One thing that I do love so much, anywhere in Egypt that you guys are, you guys will have so much herbal stuff. Frankincense. Let's check it out. Beautiful, beautiful. So literally this place alone has everything that I was telling you has. Nubria frankincense, you guys. It smells amazing. Amber got oils here, perfumes and colognes. So this is what you. This is really why it's nice to walk through this whole village. As much as it's touristy, they do have a lot of stuff for you to check out. Nubian tea. Beach. Well, uh, I do. I want some. You guys, this, wow! Look at this mango, but it doesn't look like it. The colors. Vanilla. This is the best. Wow! This is a really nice place to check out, you guys. Fascinating. Waffle. What's your name to the world? Karim. Karim. Very nice place. Nice to see this village when you guys get here. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, my friend. Amazing. My dad is famous. Famous. Well known, yeah? You can, you can write uh, Abdul Gindi. Abdul Gindi. This is my dad. Wow. Well, you talk about his history. His history here. From, uh, when he born in, till now. My dad, he have like uh, done it. 69 years. That's amazing. Wow. He worked, he teaches this work when he was six years. This is amazing. And what is, can I ask you, what is this crafting exactly? What is it called? They're making scarfs. Scarf. Wow. But before, 
before, like yeah. Yeah, four years ago. Yeah. Any carpet or anything when you sleep? Like, uh, Blankets, yeah. anything you can make, exactly. Yeah. Before, and don't have any machine. About 50 years ago. Yeah. For this time, no machine to make anything. Yeah. But my dad, they make by this alum, alum. This we call alum. Yeah. By Arabic, it's named Noel. Noel. Yes. Amazing. And all of these designs he created. Yes, sir. We have fair. In my home, wow. I have fair. Wow, wow. There, I have 15 alums like this. Alum like this, wow. And this is like one of the oldest ways to knit. Yes, sir. Ancient, ancient Egyptians. Exactly, this, this is pharaonic. Pharaonic. Yes. Wow. I told you. This machine, I mean, don't mean this machine, I mean yeah. this ID. It's come from pharaonic. Pharaonic. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. It's all so. naked by wood. And it's all by wood. Wow. And you see the sheep, it's very old. Guess how old are this? No. no, I can't even guess it, would he? Yeah? My dad, my yeah? dad, he told me this come from his grand grandfather. I mean the Habib. sheep. Wow. Can you see this one? This? Yes. You guys, this wood came from the gentleman's Let's grand grandfather. This is hundreds of years. Wow. I'm asking my dad wow. about how old this uh, sheep. This he told me, I don't know, I cannot guess. I can exactly. I told him, he told me more than 200. I told him, dad, no, no, it's too much. I mean, yeah. You can guess. I he mean, told me, I don't know. I, I, my father gave me this. Yeah. And her father gave him this. And her grandfather gave him this. So how? This one? Me, this is uh, uh, my dad, he gave me. Wow. That's really? And this is Wallah? from his grandfather of his of his uncle. Wow, you guys. Grand grandfather. So you're talking about hundreds of years old. More. You know? More. Wow. This one alone was over 200 years. Look at this. It's still in but great now, standard. Nobody makes this. Wow. This is amazing. Really? People have had from his father's, I mean, from all. Wow. So it's okay. Nice to meet you, Ahmed. And this is My a good friend. His name is Abdul Ghani. Habib. Shukran. Look, look. What's your name, sir? Hani. Hani? Yes. It's Egyptian name. I know. Have you? Nubian. Nubian. Wallahi, very lovely, Hani. Ambesa. Salam. <laughs> the villages different ones not only this one's the hill island it's plain beautiful life huh? this is my ambassador this is my little brother right here you guys say hello to the world hmm? to, to everybody salam huh? and then welcome to Nuke. 